Hi guys, I want to show you my beautiful brand new incubator that I built. This one is built out of, I started with an old fashioned hovabator, that's where the heater and the bottom came from. I used, built the dimensions based off of the hovabator base and then I insulated it with styrofoam and I sealed it all just with hot glue. I built a particle board frame around it with a plexiglass door so I had a viewing area that I could look in there without disrupting temps. And um, just have basic hinges and latches on it. This area here is for spider eggs. These little containers were made for basically holding beads. I got them from Hobby Lobby but I took the center out and I have a couple different racks of them going there. They all screw together. It's on a 24 hour timer and I used 90 degree angles to anchor it and push it through the door and I put it through the wall so this will be turning very slowly over a 24 hour period. I manually hand roll my tea sacks every 12 hours and that's been successful for me so the reason I put the velcro in here is so it will actually roll the sack and turn it instead of just having it slide around because they do need to be turned a few times a day. I've got moist perlite in the bottom and there's plenty of room for a couple of sweater boxes in case I have uh, geckos or something like that lay. The temp on this one is 78 to 82 which will be good for all those things and then I have a different incubator for uh, snake eggs and stuff that needs to be uh, hotter or cooler depending on what I've got dropping. The, um, this was actually built based on a very complex design put together by Al McKee in the early 80s. My friend Bill King used to have those plans. They were super complex. Then Stanley Schultz had another plan later on down the road that Rob C. actually built his mechanical mom off of, which is where I got the idea for this box here. And I haven't followed any of those plans exactly, but I got a lot of ideas from both of them. So I'm watching all my mama spiders and hopefully sometime soon I will have a sack to put in here and try it out. This bad boy has been running for a week or two and nothing's gone wrong yet. However, the true test is whether I can produce viable babies out of here. This is my incubator. If you have specific questions about how I did it, please comment or message me. You can also email me at deadlytarantulagirl at yahoo. So, new incubator.